Hey, you Clear Lake peeps. Ross England here with Clear Lake Guide Service with your weekly fishing report. Uh, hopefully this gets, gets to go out and we don't get our power shut off this afternoon. Uh, it's Wednesday the 23rd of October. The last two days and actually first half of today, probably three of the nicer days that I've been able to fish over the last week and a half. Uh, thinking back to last week's report, since then we had rain on Saturday, overcast, it was a mess. Um, the conditions, water temperature, last couple days has been hanging in there around 63, in the mid 63 range. I saw 65.7 today. That's just a reflection of the last two days of really, really nice weather. Even down in the midsection of the lake, it was very comfortable. It was relative. You know, one day it was relatively calm. The other day it was just flat calm. Period. Beautiful fall weather. Um, so your water temperature, water clarity, really hasn't changed. I'm sitting here just out up in County Park right now, and I can see about a foot. Uh, the best I saw this week was maybe two feet, two and a half feet. That was about it. So I haven't seen a whole lot of changes that way. The weeds are definitely breaking up, but don't kid yourself. They're still, they're either a blessing or a nuisance, depending on, you know, what your fishing style is. So we got temperature, we got clarity, water level. It's dropped a little bit. Sorry, I don't have the exact number. I didn't pay attention to it when I left this morning. Activities for this coming week. The biggest thing happening and the reason why I'm doing this today on Wednesday afternoon is because Wild West Bass Trail has their fish off that's going to take place. Practice is Thursday, Friday, meaning tomorrow. And the tournament is Saturday, Sunday. It's going out of Canocti Vista Casino. So I have no idea how many boats there's going to be, but I've been out here for the last nine days, and believe me, I'm happy to not be out here for the next four days. So the guys and gals are gonna take over the lake. There's gonna be some good limits weighed in. There's gonna be some good fish weighed in. We had, uh, I'll just give you the report from my own perspective on what we've done, because I've been out here for so much. We have had limits that range anywhere from 12 and a half pounds to almost 27 pounds and everything in between although I'm starting to figure it out a little bit better and we're getting more of the 20 pound limits um, the bite is still kind of all over the place I'm a little having a little bit of a hard time getting the LV bite going because I just haven't put the time in I know that bites there I know a rip bite is there. I know a chatterbait bite is there personally. I know that um, the usual suspects, plastics, are working just fine when you get in the right places. And that's part of the message right there. Swim baits, underspins. I've seen guys fishing them and catching fish, jigs. I don't think it's a matter so much of what you're throwing. I think it's a matter of just being able to find the right places and concentrations of fish. I fished a, a lot of stuff this week that I expected to get bites on. I expected to see fish on. I didn't get bit. I didn't see fish. Um, we're moving around a lot. When we find fish, it doesn't seem like they stay. You know, I get them for a day and then they're, they're gone. So the quality overall of the fish is really good. They're very healthy.
what I've found, the bite below the narrows has gotten a lot less consistent and has gotten a lot tougher. I don't think you can just run around and bomb here, bomb there, and catch one here, catch one there, and catch multiple fish on each place. You're going to have to work at it. Um, I do know from uh, one person who was fishing this week, back on this past weekend, that uh, for those of you who like the minnow bite, they actually started catching some fish on minnows, which the water temperature is kind of getting in that range. Once it gets down into the low 60s, I think they work pretty darn good, especially the real low 60s. The hardest part is just finding areas where you don't have a lot of weeds that you have to contend with. Because uh, if you're fishing in shallow water, especially, they just swim up to whatever weed they find. It's like hiding around a telephone pole as far as they're concerned. So look for that to happen, especially if the water temperature, as the air temperature starts to cool off, that water temperature goes back down again. Uh, I really think with what I see for the weather next week, it wouldn't surprise me if the temps aren't back down around 61, 62 again, as far as uh, best case scenario. The weather this week has been, especially the last part of this week, has been pretty good. So there's some weird bites out there, but I'm telling you, there's going to be some good weights brought in. It's uh, remember that you know if you don't fish this circuit, you look at these weights. These these folks weigh in seven fish limits. So just by the nature, they get an extra two fish to weigh in. You're going to see heavier weights than what you're used to seeing, and you know that might freak you out thinking, oh man, it really broke wide open. We're comparing seven fish limits to five fish limits, so just remember that. Other than that, you know what? I think I'm going to call it a day. We're a little worried about what might happen this afternoon, the way the wind is picking up. We're under a red flag, and uh, we're going to hope for the best for everybody. Hopefully PG&E leaves our power running for the weekend. Be kind of a mess to try to run a tournament without power, wouldn't it? Okay, boys and girls, we'll see ya. We had a good week. We're looking forward to having a good week next week. You guys, the gals, enjoy their life. If you need to talk to me, you need to check into a date fishing with our guide service. Feel free to check me out, Clear Lake Guide Service, on Facebook, on the web, and on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.